steering committee of the so-called Negev Forum, which actively brings together Israel, Morocco, United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Egypt, and the U.S. They met Monday in Abu Dhabi to prepare for the second multilateral summit scheduled for the spring in Morocco, though no final date has been announced. Now, Israel's delegation has been led by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as over 20 senior officials on a huge range of sectors from agriculture, defense, health, tourism, intelligence, energy, more. There's a lot of cooperation going on. It's a positive concept. It's aimed at building relations, laying further groundwork for really flourishing relations across the region. But glaringly absent from this gathering, again, is Israel ally, neighbor, Jordan, as well as any representatives from the Palestinian Authority, perhaps less of a surprise there. But we're joined by Dr. Michael Mirstein, who's the head of the Palestinian Studies Forum at Moshe Dayan Center for Middle Eastern and African Studies, Tel Aviv University. Uh, always good to have you with us. Thanks for joining here. Um, you know, first of all, the Palestinian Authority, okay, understandable. I mean, they're staunchly against these peace accords that they're not going to show up. But Jordan, I mean, this feels like a diplomatic crisis, really, for Israel in particular. That, you know, is Jordan the de facto representative right now of Palestinian interests? Well, it's a very good uh, question, uh, David. Um, regarding Jordan, we're talking about an ongoing tension. I think that we can even define it uh, as an ongoing uh, crisis since the elections, the results of the elections in Israel. Uh, I think that uh, Jordan actually uh, consider the uh, results of the, the elections uh, as a challenge, maybe even a threat. And uh, that's why uh, no Jordanian representative came uh, to Abu Dhabi to the to the summit, and uh, I think if I can be, for example, the advisor of Prime Minister Netanyahu, I think that it's very important to uh, preserve the uh, the stability of the relations between Israel and Jordan, and to avoid any step, any move that will undermine them, because Jordan has really. Uh, a strategic uh, importance for Israel, and I think that it, it is really it, it's not it's not good a, at all that uh, the two states will uh, will be in such a tense relations. And uh, I think that the, the same the same issue is also uh, is also uh, right about uh, Egypt and of course about the uh, the Gulf states. I know there's a lot, as you mentioned, there's a hugely strategic relationship uh, between Israel and Jordan. We'd like to believe there's still a lot of that robust relationship below the radar, you know, t taking place here. We know there's a lot of security coordination, but uh, touching on the Palestinians with your specialty, of course, uh, look, this new government in Israel, they're already clamping down, you know, taking some hostile action against the Palestinian Authority. Taxes, cutting back uh, the tax deliveries to them. The visas to top officials being uh, revoked or at least refused at this point. Where does the situation seem to be headed? You know, what's your you know perspective on where we're going between Israel and the Palestinian Authority? Well, actually, David, unfortunately, I must uh, admit, I think that we and the Palestinians, the Palestinian Authority, are uh, are in a collision course. Uh, I think that right now there is such a deep. Uh, uh, a fear or such a deep uh, even hostility uh, uh, from the Palestinian side, the Palestinian Authority toward the uh, new government. Uh, so I, I see no, almost no way from growing tension, even growing clashes between the two sides. I think that uh, after this week, when uh, the minister, when the uh, minister of uh, of Treasury, uh, Smartwich, announced that uh, if the uh, Palestinian Authority will will support or continue to support terror uh, uh, in its uh, own territory uh, he sees no no reason why why this entity should exist i think that all the, all all, uh, all these uh, uh, signals uh, can uh, actually uh, uh, show us that the, the two sides are in a very a very tense uh, situation i i'm really afraid that uh, this uh, uh, tense situation will lead us Israel and the Palestinians to uh, to uh, a, a very uh, a very problematic situation regarding the uh, the um, coordination, the military and the civil coordination between the two sides. And from this point, if the coordination will be undermined, I, I'm really uh, afraid that the whole situation in the West Bank, which was relatively yeah. calm during the last, the last decade, can be 
really a nightmare I mean, for both sides. Well, the, the, the point of question, question, you know, the point of question on my mind here, of course, I mean, given those sentiments from the finance minister and, and everything else we've discussed here, I mean, the PA largely, I mean, they're propped up by Israel, by the United States. You know, could we see their collapse, their complete collapse in the near term this year? I think that it, it won't be a collapse, David. It will be a dying process. You know, the, the, the Palestinian Authority really depends on the in the financial level on Israel, and if Israel will limit or start to start to cut the payment, the tax payment to the to the Palestinian Authority, the Palestinian Authority cannot function. And if it cannot function, it means that it cannot pay salaries to its workers. And it means that there will be a lot of vacuums, mainly civil vacuums uh, in this territory, the West Bank. And I'm really afraid that the result of this situation will be that Israel will be the player that will actually have to get into this vacuum and will actually have to implement the responsibilities of this uh, vacuum, mainly in the civil, in the civil and the financial uh, level. And uh, I really hope that in the government, in our government, in the Israeli government, there is uh, there are a lot of people who are thinking about this future, about these scenarios, about the meaning of uh, of ongoing or, or even growing tension between us and the Palestinians. I've been uh, shaking my head in dismay here a lot in this conversation. It's a dismal prospect here, the idea of uh, those types of vacuums emerging in this arena that we're uh, talking about here. Nothing good will fill those. Uh, a lot of burden on Israel. Dr. Michael Milstein, thanks for being with us as always.